So I'm Walter uh, from Switzerland and I'm working as a project manager mainly in transformation and digitalization projects. Actually, the key projects are uh, transformation projects from analog to digital. My current organization, I work with different customers. I have my own uh, small company, uh, SCW Project Consulting. And uh, so I'm working for the federal authorities and some private companies as consultant and project manager. The federal supervisory uh, uh, authority for uh, foundations, uh, they are taking care for about uh, 6,000 foundations and they um, are responsible for checking whether the funds are uh, used correctly. It's about uh, 60 uh, lawyers and legal experts who are taking care of this. It's a small unit, but uh, they are taking care of about 80, million, uh, 80 billion Swiss francs uh, of funds. It's just the last four or five years, four years I'm using it. And it was a coincidence to uh, learn about uh, WSO2. The challenges was always to, to make the big um, software units uh, uh, working together. Because to, uh, to integrate uh, applications uh, within these uh, uh, huge application units is quite difficult. So writing interfaces is uh, time consuming and costly work. The most important thing was uh, the flexibility and the uh, easy to use and implement, uh, uh, implementing way uh, of the software. This was the key uh, experience that we can do, uh, everything, manipulate data, extract data, um, and uh, we have um, not a huge software to, to maintain or to set up, uh, it's just small tiny pieces. It was really smooth. You need to, it was really smooth, you need to write people. We had uh, good support uh, in Bern, in Switzerland. With, the, uh, with our partners and then I had the uh, joy to, to know uh, WSO2 in, in Sri Lanka. The support was good, was good because uh, in, the, in several discussions with uh, the uh, teams we get some, uh, some hints, some ideas how to, uh, to use uh, the software in a better way, for example, to um, to manipulate data a little bit more, to aggregate, disaggregate data, and uh, and also uh, scheduling uh, some business process. Yes, uh, it's clear. <laughs> this uh, it's always the the uh, the, the question. Uh, if you do a, a transformation, how can you measure the success? And the success is you can um, you can measure the actions of the microintegrator. In the end, in the business uh, case, you can you do not forget anything because the microintegrator is uh, doing it like a clockwork. He is uh, sending out uh, uh, um, reminders. He is uh, is not forgetting anything, and he he he's, he's really like a machine. One specific was uh, it was. Uh, one moment, uh, uh, the project was nearly in delay, and then we talked to the right partner in Switzerland, and we thought, okay, this would take, to implement, it would take months. And he said, okay, if we are, um, if we take care of it, uh, it will be three or four weeks. So the, uh, the, the quick and easy implementation of our um, goals was, uh, was, was impressive, very. And uh, not only me, 
now it's uh, it was getting a service in the federal authorities and you can you can uh, pick it up from a, from a list of services and implement it so the question even for my next project uh, is also to getting data from somewhere and shift it to somewhere else and um, if there is no specific uh, tool available, I think the best choice would be probably WSO2 too. Yes, very clear, very clear. It's easy uh, to handle and uh, one of the key um, advantages is uh, it's open source. For me, or for our project, the most important thing uh, was to have a reliable partner on site which you can, uh, who you can ask uh, directly. Uh, he sits, he can sit for, for one hour, for one or two hours uh, beside us and give us some hints how to uh, resolve things. Uh, this was very, very useful at the first moment. <music>